Hey everybody, I'm back. <clears throat> the date is September 1st, 2022. Get back, baby. Um, and I was just harvesting some okra, some chicken and dumpling cow peas. Here, here they all is. And some muscadines from my garden. And uh, <clears throat> I have so much to harvest. I had to go back and get another basket. And I kind of just wanted to make a little video so I could, I could look back on it and maybe y'all could consider growing a couple of these things too it sounds different um but yeah just freaking kibbler okra kibbler okra chicken and dumpling jump chicken and dumpling cow peas and these muscadines they're all been growing together right here oh so good they just been doing so good let me show you some of my harvest over here right here i'll actually point the camera around This is a kibbler, kibbler okra right here. I need to quit trying to make a video of the muscadine in my mouth. I apologize for that. But um, yeah, this is the kibbler okra right along here. There's some sweet potatoes right here. I'm not sure how the, how good those will do. They were planted a little bit late. Uh, here's another row of okra. This okra right here is just starting to come in. So. And I just harvested some some off of this for the first time today. This this row was just late getting started. And I just noticed that this row right here is getting started too. And I didn't get some okra from right there. It is everywhere. I have so much dried okra. It's all the way down there. I don't have much on these rows. I had a hard time getting them germinated. Because the water didn't go down this far. But here's some asparagus. Um, I did a whole separate video on this herb right here. This is called papalo, and it's just everywhere in the garden. This is blue spice basil right here, along with some sweet potatoes creeping underneath it. Some good old comfrey. I've cut probably seven or eight different times off of these to just uh, take the comfrey leaves and tuck them underneath okra plants and whatnot, or, or any type of plant along here. And uh, I think it's been providing some good nutrition. So. But yeah, lots of comfrey. There's some Roma volunteer tomatoes right there. There's some more right here. Look at all the blossoms that are on these tomatoes. And there's a really good set of fruit too. These are volunteers as well. More papalo. This stuff is everywhere. Here in the south, and apparently the southwest, you need to be growing some of this stuff. And the papalo... Look at the other side of the fence right here. This is Palo all right here. It's supposed to be a good cilantro replacement. I still haven't tried it. I don't know. I mean, I've eaten it like just straight up like that. It's really strong. But I haven't actually like made any tacos or anything. Put it on there. Lychee tomatoes still didn't have any tomatoes. I don't know what is up with the lychee tomato. What I'm supposed to be doing or what I'm not doing. Looks like some of the tomato hornworms been getting a lot, but... I haven't gotten a single fruit off of that. Let me know if any of y'all know anything about that. But let me show you the muscadines and the cow peas and the okra like all growing together up in here. This is just, I don't know if I've ever had a crop like this before of all three of these things. Oh yeah, here are the, here are the cow peas. This is where I've been stepping. But they're growing all up in here and look, how they've overtaken my muscadines. They're just, there's cowpeas growing. They haven't overtaken them because look at all the muscadines that I have. They're all over the place. These might be scuppernongs. I don't remember the difference. But look at them up in there. Just cowpeas and, and muscadines growing right beside each other. They're such a cool combination. Oh, they're so tasty too. Mm. And the same thing with the okra. You come in here and harvest okra. And the cow peas are just climbing up the okra and it's not affecting them at all. I mean, this stuff is producing like crazy and it's just got cow peas hanging off of them. So, muscadines, cow peas, and okra make a really good polyculture. So, try it out. I just thought that I would show you all that and show future Will that too, just to remind myself. Well, I'm not going to forget because I've had to harvest so much okra and cow peas. So, but yeah, just good, good to document it. So, Thought I'd show everybody that. Look at all the cow peas just popping up over the top. 
on top of the okra. Yeah, something else. Got to do it again next year. Another thing about this uh, Kibler okra uh, over a lot of other okras that I've ever grown is okra stays good for a lot longer than most other okra I've ever grown. A lot of other ones would be really fibrous at this point, but these are still good. So It's good stuff. And it makes a really good trellis for these cowpeas. As you can see, I'm just picking them like just right up the middle they're growing in here I, I actually picked five or six before I set up the camera right there so yeah there's a lot of them just a lot of cowpeas just growing up in the middle of this too and they both seem to be extremely prolific these are left on here so they can go to seed uh, these will get old and they'll bust open and then I'll save the seed from this and I'm gonna plant a lot more okra next year so that's why those big ones are on there like that I planted some right here, but I planted them too thick. So some of these okra I planted uh, side by side, like this one right here. I actually put two seeds in the ground and two stalks came up and both of them are really prolific. So you can actually let like two of them live side by side. It, it might be, I mean, it might be just as good just to let it be one, but it does work if you don't, if you forget to prune them a little bit. But if you have more than two, it seems like it does uh, prohibit their growth a little bit. Here's actually some seed pods right here off the okra. I don't know if they're quite ready. No, they won't break off, so I don't think they're ready. But yeah, I'm gonna harvest some more. Sometimes you gotta use your shirt. So that's my harvest. And let me add the rest of it to it. Look at there. Beautiful looking. That little cow peas needs to be ready to shuck. Might need to let a couple of these dry out a little bit. But 
filled me up a whole basket. Look at that. And I got a couple more okra to get on the way out. Look at these. Let's get on. There's a lot more in there than it looks like. Look at this. Beautiful. So sweet, too. Like, sickeningly sweet. Turn to the south. Grow these things. Try them out. Bye-bye.